Hey, how you doing? Jason Adair with Braun Ambulances, Regional Sales Manager, here with Chief McElroy uh, from Homer Fire Department. Uh, we are here to go over their unit, um, kind of show you some of their unique features that they have here, uh, and kind of bring the booth to you. We're at booth 4639. Please come by and take a look at this unit and all the other units that we may have to offer here. Uh, Chief, let's go around. Let's take a look on the inside of the truck first. Uh, sorry. This is the Chief XL. I apologize, Chief XL. Uh, Ford. Uh, extended cab, some, some kind of things they did on the inside that's unique uh, for them. Uh, they got the liquid spring suspension on this truck. Uh, you can see the controller in here. You can see the console layout, they got the go light um, in here so they can kind of move that around when they want to. Uh, air horn switch, um, their, their other stuff. So the back is really the unique part of your guys' truck um, and what you guys kind of spec out in the back. So I'll kind of get out of the way and let Chief kind of tell me what do you use this for? What was your guys' idea and concept behind this? So what, what we're into is we're one of the few remaining all-volunteer departments in our area. So getting manpower during the day can be a real struggle. So we wanted to set this up to kind of go hand in hand with our rescue. If we couldn't get two trucks out the door right away, we, we're going to have air packs, we're going to have water suits. Fill this with tools that, you know, we could at least get going on scene. That was the idea behind one of the extended cab. Excellent, excellent. We'll come over to the outside storage number one compartment. In here they have our EZO2 lift. Uh, for the EZO2 lift, this is just a good back saver. It's something proprietary to Braun. Uh, it's a manual lift system that we came up with. Basically it'll fit an M or an H tank. So you come over here, pull down the handle, you can lock this down, change that bottle out, and then you put that bottle back on, strap that back in, and then put it back up in the position. Still gives you a little storage in the back. Um, and you can also, this is where you hook up your regulator stuff so that wires are all on that same side. Uh, it's for ease of use for you guys. Uh, I, I probably hit on it already, but you guys probably chose this option for a back saver device that, that's a little more cost friendly than, than your electric devices that you, that you can get in these places. OSS number two, um, it's going to house their pumps, um, stuff like that. There's suction pumps up here as well. What else do you guys typically put in, a, in your compartment like this? That one, I don't know what we've decided what we're going to put over here. Okay, so this is an additional storage compartment for these guys. Um, maybe they throw some gear, um, who knows, who knows what they're going to use that for, but just some added space for them to have for, for any kind of tools and stuff they may have to have. <laughs> OSS number three, uh, nice big storage compartment for these guys here. Uh, do you know what you typically keep in this one, Chief? We keep stair chairs and then like what, what we're talking about, exactly what you hit on over there. Gear. Having some gear probably on the truck as well. Okay. We're going to continue with the outside of this truck uh, to take you to their outside storage number four cabinet. As you can see, they put some dividers in here and stuff like that for their for their equipment. Uh, Chief, what are you guys keeping here? Uh, yeah, stair chair will be over here. Actually, I said on the other side. Sorry, right. stair chair. Yep. What else? What are you guys keeping in this compartment? You know? I do not know. Uh, just added storage for them. They got it split. Uh, I put the stair chair on this side uh, and use some other equipment for this side as well. Uh, just a lot of room for them. This one here um, is going to be on the inside, so we'll show you that when we get to the inside. We'll go up to the ALS stack real quick, OSS number five. This right here, um, you can see their shelving and stuff in here. This is the OSS five inside outside compartment that they can use. Uh, they can keep their bags, um, anything like that um, that they want to keep in here. Um, battery compartment down here, so you can see they got their extra battery down here as well. Hey, I want to bring somebody in here. Yeah, we're going to bring Chief in. This is Assistant Chief, and then this is Chief Helfrey, Jason Adair. Nice to meet you. We are live on Facebook. Sorry to bring you in. We're very in here. Uh, what are you guys keeping this this compartment there, Chief? Probably going to be cabbage pieces. in there. Okay. So, I'm going to show you guys the sliding door as well. This has been a broad standard for a long time, uh, about 18 years. Uh, this is a good safety feature for everybody out there. Uh, you guys picked this for that reason, the guy's safety feature of the sliding door? We picked the brown for a lot of reasons. Good, good. We'll talk about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the inside. I'll go around the back. 
so we'll turn this chair around so I can see us. All right, so we're on the inside of this truck. Um, as you can see, we got the Valor seat backs uh, on the squad bench side. And on the CPR side, we have the Valor seat back as well. Then we have the Valor Tennessee with the child integral safety seat in here. Um, so in here, uh, this is definitely a specific layout to Homer. Um, so we're gonna you know, talk to the Chiefs about you know, exactly what are they gonna store in here? Why did they go with this layout? So we'll start over here on this side with the squad bench. We have a one seated position. Your Vista screen, so you have full access to everything, electrical in the back of the truck, oxygen, whatever you may need. Um, you can see their custom stack up front where they got the drawers in here. Uh, got a writing surface right here on top in case they need to do a report right here. Um, up here, I would say you're going to put your monitor. Yes, sir. So monitor is going to go right here in this area. Um, and here, what are you guys going to keep in here, Chief? Oh, the IV supplies. IV supply stuff, so they're really easy to get to um, while you're working the patient right here. The seat you can see is moved down in a great position to where when you have that, that cot in here at a 45 degree, uh, where most of the time that's where you're working on a patient, you can get to them really easy. You're, you're not at the head trying to reach around. Everything's going to be right here for you. Um, what do you keep in this bottom one? IV supplies or are you going to put something else? Probably be more IV supplies. IV supplies down here. So, so they're going to have full access to everything that they need right here. Um, quick one stop shop. Um, these belts. The best thing about these belts here with the Valor seats is the one-click option. So when they're sitting in here, uh, <laughs> some people need to make them wider. <laughs> um, so you can see that in here. You can see their uh, mermaid um, cooler up here as well, um, where they're probably going to store drugs. I would yes, imagine. Sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they can store their drugs right here. Once again, we're sitting here working off this, and we can we can uh, open this up at any time, get to whatever we need, IVs, and we can get to all the drug storage up here. Um, very nice temperature controlled unit that they can control their temperature on um, to whatever setting that they want to set that to. Um, on the street side, you can see all the cabinets they got over here with a lot of storage for the interior of this truck. What do you guys normally keep in these cabinets here, Chief? Bandages and supplies. Bandages and supplies? Okay. So what else they got is inventory control loops as well. So you see these on here? What they can do is at the end of the day they can put their tags on here. That way it controls this. So when the next person comes on shift, they can cut that tag and know that everything is in this that they needed from the shift before. Um, it has been replenished if they used anything. So that's exactly what you're seeing on all of these right here, our inventory control loops on all these cabinets. And this one here, this is the second action area here. What do you guys keep in this drawer right here? It's usually linens. Keeping linens in here? Okay, excellent. You can see that they have the dry erase boards, so they can write on these if they need to and take that off. So if they're in here working a patient, they can write on these at any time. And then the, the added benefit is they got some storage back behind them as well. You know what you guys are keeping in, in both of these? Actually, we're gonna change out the one door and make an aluminum door with a combination lock and that's where they're gonna leave drugs. Okay, so they're gonna make this a drug storage in here. Yes. Excellent, perfect. <laughs> you can see in here they got their Sigtronic headsets. So when they're here, they can plug into here, they can talk, right? It's got the push to talk button in here. So they got their headset to be able to communicate up front. Um, and you can also see it on the, the curbside as well, right there by the patient. So everything's right there for their, their, their crew uh, to be able to work um, nice and easy on everybody and, and maintaining the, the patients. Um, in the cabinet behind you, Chief, sorry? Sorry. What do you keep in this one here? Airway. Airway stuff. So they're gonna put all their airway stuff in this cabinet right here. So you can see in here, they got all the recessed shelves, everything like that. So that's all going to be airway in there. Uh, down here, you can see the primary Vista control. Uh, this is their primary one. They, like I said, they have the one on the curbside as well. You can see all their suction uh, controls, your fader for your radio. They do have the rear speakers and the head pack. Um, so they do have the radio in here as well. Um, going to the front wall, um, back behind us, we kind of showed you the ALS stack right here. On the inside, we got it where it's where it's uh, split apart, but there's a, a middle shelf. Uh, we already talked about what we store in there. It's inside, outside compartment. Up top there, Chief, what do you guys usually store up there? It's just overflow supplies usually. So they're keeping overflow supplies there. So excellent. You can see the three glove box holder as well. Uh, so they can put their gloves in there if they need. Got the Pro Air 3856 air conditioning system um, inside this unit. Uh, you can see the grab rail on the ceiling. They got the 96 inch over the cot. Um, and then they also got some nice accent lights up here, uh, the nice blue LED accent lights. Um, in case you got a sick patient or something in the back, they don't want the dome lights in their eyes, they got this blue light they can work with now up above. Um, so, 
you know, come by the show. Uh, come see us, 4396 uh, Braun Industries. I'm with Chief uh, Halfrey and Chief McElroy. I want to thank them. Uh, these guys work with our dealer, Pincare, um, out of Ohio. Um, how was your interaction with Pincare? Very good. Very good? Uh, what do you think of Braun when you guys worked with Braun, uh, went to the, the facility? Um, what do you think of your guys' truck? Um, how was your interaction with us at Braun? I'd say it was amazing. We went up there for the tour, toured the factory. Uh, we had some things that we wanted to change uh, on the move, I guess, up there. And uh, still a few things yet, as Chief talked about, we need to go back and do. But we were up against the wall getting out here for the MC, So uh, very accommodating. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so I thank you guys. Uh, we'll be here all week till Saturday at 2 p.m. when this thing's over. So come by Braun. Uh, come see what we're all about, uh, if you don't know already. Uh, if not, come talk to one of our sales reps from our dealer network all across the nation. Uh, well, we'd be glad to see you and glad to help you guys out. And we definitely want to thank Homer Fire Department for letting us use their truck in the FDIC show. Uh, we, we thank you guys very much. Uh, we appreciate everything you guys do as well. So. Thank you.